Although our installation videos are intended to help our customers, it is always recommended that you hire a professional. These are gas appliances and must only be installed by professionals with fireplace specific knowledge and experience. The Real Fire SPK26 Safety Pilot System is designed to mount to Real Fire vented burner systems like their G4 or G45 burner. For more information on those, click the link above. This particular kit is intended to mount to the right side of the burner system. So if your gas line is on the left side of your fireplace, you'll need to reroute your gas line behind the burner using a longer half inch flexible gas connector. To get started, remove the two Phillips head screws on the side of the burner pan, then install the flame diverter bracket one and a half inches from the back of the burner. Apply a little gas approved pipe joint compound to the 3 8 male threads on the burner system and to the 3 8 male gas inlet threads on the back of the safety pilot. Attach the 3 8 to half inch fitting that came with the safety pilot to the gas inlet and tighten. Attach the safety pilot to the burner system and rotate. You'll want to use wrenches to make sure it's super tight with the valve stem facing towards the front. Overturn it by about 15% so you can access and attach the pilot assembly to the side of the burner system. There are two Phillips head screws on the vertical side of the pilot assembly bracket. Back them out, position the bracket to the burner pan, and tighten the screws to secure the pilot assembly. Reverse turn the pilot assembly to make it straight with the burner pan, and gently bend the pilot assembly leads back behind the burner, taking care not to pinch or break them. Position the burner system in the fireplace. Center the burner system in your fireplace, making sure that it meets the clearances set out in the owner's manual. Attach your gas connector flex line to the back of the safety pilot and securely tighten. Then attach the opposite end of your flex line to the main gas line and securely tighten. After everything is hooked up, go ahead and turn the main gas back on and test the system by turning the burner knob to the pilot position. Push in and light the pilot using a handheld butane lighter. Once lit, continue pushing in on the knob until the thermocouple heats up, at which point you can release the knob and the pilot flame should stay lit. Turn the knob to the on position to light the burner and test the flame. It's important to remember that there might be air in the gas line since this is a fresh installation. It can take up to a few minutes for all of that air to purge out of the pilot. Be patient with this step. After you know the system is working, you need to take a minute to adjust the pilot flame for your specific gas pressure and elevation. To do this, look for a little brass screw on the front of the valve. Using a small flathead screwdriver, Turn the screw clockwise to reduce the flame or counterclockwise to increase the flame. The goal is to get the flame about one inch in height, leaving it strong enough to not blow out from the breeze in the chimney, but low enough to not get a loud flamethrower type sound. You want the flame to be mild and appropriate. Don't worry, this can be adjusted easily anytime. You'll find the sweet spot that's best for you. Once you're happy with the pilot flame, add the heat shield. That's it. Now it's time to relax and enjoy the added safety this pilot system brings your decorative fireplace. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or call our sales team and we'll be happy to guide you in the right direction. If you found this video helpful, make sure to fire up the like button and subscribe to get updates on all new videos.